Yo, what's up YouTube? We back here with another video for you guys today and today this is for my beginner riders wanting to know how to shift, how to downshift. Um, I'm going to give a little video on that today. You know, I had a lot of people in my last video on how to ride a motorcycle. I'll link it up at the top of the screen so you can go check that video out if you haven't seen it. Uh, but I had a lot of people in that video asking me about uh, downshifting, shifting scenarios or whatnot. I didn't include it in that video, but I figured I'll go ahead and make a separate video for those people today. Uh, on a 2021 Kawasaki ZX6R and uh, all right, let's go ahead and get started but I figure I'll go over this again man so you understand what you're looking at I'm gonna start on the left side this time this is your clutch right this is your shifter six gear shifter on the right side is your rear brake your throttle and your front brake so like I said I'm gonna show you guys what I do like well I don't do it anymore but it's something that beginner riders should start with trying to do first before they get into this <clears throat> And that is the way you take off on a motorcycle. <sighs> Alright, so right now I'm sitting in neutral. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull in the clutch. And I'm going to put it in the first... Whoop. Didn't Don't want to do that. I'm going to put it in the first gear. Now I'm just going to let up off the clutch until this gets moving no gas right now we're in a drift we're in a drift in first gear going seven miles an hour right now this thing will drift as long as you want it to and not shut off on you but you don't even have to pull in the clutch right now unless you're stopping and I'm not going to so I'm just gonna give it gas and start going how you go in your RPM range, the more gas you're gonna guzzle, right? So I could take this thing to about 8,000 RPM shift, second gear. Now 8,000 RPM shift, third gear. Keep your uh, shifting around 8,000 RPM. shift fourth gear and this is a good way to try to conserve gas you don't really have to go much faster than this on this type of road like so I can actually leave it in fourth gear while I ride this road there's no need for me to switch to sixth gear on this now as I come to a stop lightly pulling the brake downshift 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 first gear hold the clutch give it brake stop uh, I'm gonna go to the right I think so now if you want to take off with throttle you would give it a little bit of throttle as you're letting off the clutch right go remember my 8,000 rpm rule If you keep it like that, it'll let you get, let's see, I'll get up to six gear real quick. So while I'm in six gear, my RPMs are very low. So I'm at my best gas mileage right here. But as you get higher in the RPM range, it's gonna guzzle more. Oh, I forgot to fucking strap in my damn uh, helmet, man. I gotta pull over and strap that in for sure. It's not good to get in the habit of riding with your helmet not strapped so I'll get back to y'all in a second let's get back into it so remember I said 8,000 rpm shift 
get used to this without having to look. And if you do have to look, quick gaze. Quick gaze. I know and most of the time in my videos, man, I'm, I've been through every RPM range of every gear, so I've maxed this bike out to its fastest, the highest limit it gets to. Um, but I wouldn't advise everybody to do that. I mean, just enjoy and ride your ride, man. But use your 8,000 as your reference, depending on how fast you're going. 8,000 RPM shift through each gear. And if you get too low, and you feel like you're too low, downshift. You can downshift again because you're going slower than that gear can actually max out at. But uh, let's say I'm in third gear, right? And I max third gear all the way out. You cannot immediately switch down to second gear or you're going to get a pull, jerk, and probably throw you off the bike. So you got to be careful when you downshift especially when you're in the high rpm you got to make sure that that second that gear that you're switching to is capable of handling the rpm that you're sitting at if that makes sense so I, like i said i know i can downshift here right because i'm not exceeding the rpm limit of the gear i just switched from This is like one of those type of things you just kind of get used to as you ride. I mean, I'm hoping I'm explaining it like the best I can. Like, this is my first bike also, but I just happen to be a fast learner when it comes to things like this. And I learned fairly quick on how to ride a motorcycle as a first time rider. Because I had car experience, manual transmission with a stick. If you understand clutch and throttle control on a car, implement that on a motorcycle with the controls of a motorcycle and you will be good. Alright, so we back in the game. I'm in second gear. Under 8,000 RPM. So I'm good. Shift. Coming into a turn, downshift. Now the, RP, the 8,000 RPM range might not work for everybody because you'll be going faster than I am. And because like if you're if you're uh, a less weight. Your speed might be faster in that gear at that point. So that's a big thing to take note of, like how fast you're going. Like right now, I'm at 8,000 RPM going in third gear, going 57 miles an hour. Right? So I know in third gear, I can at least reach at the highest RPM, I can at least reach 116 miles an hour in third gear if I fucking took the limit all the way up. So that tells me I got room to drop in gear. Bam, second gear. 8,000 RPM range though, keep that in mind. I'm just riding fourth gear. I don't need to change gears because I'm at such a low RPM that I don't have to change. I can just keep it here. That's where people get shit misconstrued. You don't have to be in sixth gear or switch all the way through your gears to sixth gear. It's, it's all about RPM. All right, so we're in first gear going at 20 miles an hour and we are not at 8,000. So we get to 8,000, switch a second. That's for like adrenaline junkies that like to get the RPMs high, man, and switch through the RPM range. Like, that's for fast. People don't want to go fast. In most cases, a beginner ain't gonna want to do that. So just stick to the 8,000 RPM rule on shifting up, 
and just know that because you're in 8,000, you can downshift to anything to first, all the way to first. Because you're not exceeding first gear's max RPM. That is the whole thing. You cannot exceed one's RPM in downshift. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make my way on back home, man. I hope this video helped out some of you guys, you beginner riders, man. I'll continue to put informative stuff out there for you. Ask another question about something else they want. Yo, just hit me up, man. You know, and I take what I say to be true and a good way to maintain gas and a good way to maintain your motorcycle. 8,000 RPM. Remember that, you'll be golden. Didn't really feel like being out going anywhere like special so I figured I'd make a little informative video for you guys just to help out you beginners everybody got to start somewhere so why not teach the ones that actually want to ride and really want to know more stuff to come thanks for watching